ASP.NET Core provides a number of built-in middleware components. However, you might want to write your own. Hit the subscribe button and stay tuned to see how you can write your own custom middleware. The great thing about ASP.NET Core is that it comes with a number of middleware components built in. For example, we can add our own rate limiter to restrict the number of requests. We can also add our own exception handler, and there are many other middleware components built in. But there may be instances where we wish to write our own. Adding security headers to a HTTP response is one instance where we'll write our own custom middleware. So we can call our app instance and we call the use extension method. Within that, we need to pass in two parameters of context and next. The context is a type of HTTP context, which means we can write to the response. We're going to write a response to the headers to ensure that iframes are loaded within the same origin. So we call context.response.headers.append. The key, the header key is called x hyphen frame hyphen options, and the value is same origin. Next, we need to call the next parameter. This ensures that the next middleware in the chain is run. When running a HTTP request, we can see that the response header has an x hyphen frame hyphen options header added to it. A call to the next function ensures that the next component in the middleware chain gets run. If we weren't to include that, it'd be known as short circuiting or terminal middleware. This essentially means that any other components in the middleware chain beyond this would not get run. We can show this. We'll remove that line and we're going to add the types for these parameters. So the context is a type of HTTP context and the type of next is a func task. Let's run the application. When running the HTTP request, we can see that our header has been added, but we can also see that no response has been added. This is an example of short circuiting. We can also call app.run to write our own terminal middleware. So we can remove this line and call app.run. We need to pass in a parameter of context, which is a type of HTTP context. And this is a good example where we can write our own holding page. So we can call context.response.writeAsync. And we're just going to pass in the response as holding page. We're running our response now, rather than getting the JSON response, we're just getting a response that says holding page. When adding your own custom middleware, if you're writing to the response, it's generally a good idea to add the functionality before the next method is called. The reason being is that the response hasn't started being written at this point. If we do it after the next method, it throws an exception behind the scenes. We can demonstrate what happens, so if we remove that to after the next method is called and run the application. In Swagger, we're getting an error there, so let's run the URL directly. So we can see we're getting the HTTP response, but we're also getting the status of failed. If we also have a look at the response headers, we can see that our own custom header has not been added. We can also write custom middleware to its own class. We'll add a new item, which we're going to call header middleware. We need to provide a read-only field, which is a type of request delegate, which we're going to call underscore next. We need to provide the instance for that in the constructor. Afterwards, we need to provide an invoke method. It's asynchronous. We call it invoke and we pass in a type of HTTP context. And then from here, we can copy and paste our middleware functionality into it. We change the type of context to HTTP context, and we await the next delegate passing in the HTTP context as the parameter. As a result of that, we no longer need this. We need to register the middleware, so we call app.use middleware and pass in header middleware as the generic type. Running the HTTP request shows that our response header has been added. Watch our video on exception handling middleware next. ASP.NET Core has many built-in middleware components, and this will show you how to add your own exception handler in your ASP.NET Core application.